one of the issues that came up uh, during the discussions at the Greek Public Policy Forum in Tanya was whether decentralization was necessarily a good thing or whether it uh, set the scene for more corruption and clientelism uh, and so on. Well, in the 1980s and uh, before, everybody thought that decentralization was the key to a more progressive and prosperous future. Uh, what we have seen since then was that uh, actually the opposite was uh, true in the sense that uh, there was indeed more corruption and more clientelism uh, at local level. So the question is why? I think part of the reason is that um, the local level of politics is not exposed to the same uh, checks and balances as the central political scene at national level. Is the local press uh, more capable than national newspapers and the media, for example, uh, to, to scrutinize the actions of political actors? I have my doubts, uh, especially for, for Greece. Uh, the other uh, possible explanation is that uh, local authorities see themselves as spending authorities rather than uh, tax and spend authorities. So, they have the power to spend, and the more they spend, the better for them and their electorate. Uh, but they don't raise taxes, except for very minor uh, contributions and so on. So I think that the uh, representation goes with taxation. Uh, if local politicians want to, to, to have a larger share of uh, public spending, they have to raise it through taxes. And then, of course, we will we'll have to invent uh, mechanisms for uh, shifting funds, tax receipts, from uh, richer to poorer. A third possible explanation is to do with how vibrant civil societies at local level uh, are. And I think here we have to use two analogies. Uh, oversimplifying, we may say that Catalonia is a success story, uh, while Sicily is not. Uh, why? Because the rule of law is more respected in Catalonia than in, in uh, Sicily. And although both regions are very proud of their own traditions, uh, civil society is far more vibrant in Catalonia uh, than it is in Sicily. I'm oversimplifying because there are good Sicilians and bad Catalans, but more or less this is how the story goes. So, Cretan politicians and other local politicians have to ask themselves if they are more similar to Sicily uh, than they are to Catalonia, and uh, then uh, give the right response. If they are more like Catalonia, then fine. If not, uh, trouble ahead. So the other, the other issue that came up, interesting issue, uh, I think that came up today in the, in the brief public policy forum meeting at Hanya, uh, is to do with obstacles uh, to reform. The usual story, there are interest groups that are very powerful and they have the capacity to block reform that uh, potentially benefits a majority of, of the population. Well, I think here uh, the key to that, uh, to whether it is possible to overcome the resistance of interest groups, uh, is uh, I think it's trust, basically. Trust in institutions, trust in government, but also trust in each other. Because if Greece is a low-trust society, and we have plenty of evidence to suggest that this is what it is, uh, I'm afraid that uh, prospects for overcoming uh, the resistance of interest groups uh, are, are not very bright. Uh, so, for example, it is impossible, assuming that you know judges are, are the bad guys of, of the day, uh, it is difficult to mobilize uh, support for the government against the judges if uh, public opinion thinks that, you know, today is the judges but tomorrow it may be myself, you know, people like myself. Um, so, unless you link the whole thing, you make reforms coalesce less around a coherent vision, a, a, a common project to which the majority of the population are committed, then it is difficult to overcome the resistance uh, of interest groups because uh, there isn't enough trust that uh, what happens now is something that will benefit the majority of people. 
people suspect that on the contrary, uh, government, and, uh, you know, foreign powers, rhetorica, whatever, uh, isolate uh, interest groups, or, or rather, they don't say it is interest groups, groups of the population, today the judges, tomorrow, who, who knows? And this is a populist discourse, you know, we are all united, there are no real difference between judges and everybody else, or tax evaders and everybody else. There is a common enemy, which is the Troika or the memorandum, or, uh, or politicians, or whatever. So I think unless we uh, put forward uh, a common project which most people are committed to, and unless there is trust that this is what is actually going to happen, uh, it will be next to impossible to overcome uh, the resistance of most interest groups.